Hi guys, you have an awesome lab today. You're gonna see some stuff today that you've never seen before or even thought of. It will be mind blowing and awesome. Okay, let's get started. So I can identify five agents of erosion and give examples of each. So remember erosion actually moves materials, right? Weathering breaks it down, erosion moves it, takes it to another place. So here is an agent of erosion. Gravity. Gravity pulls rocks down slopes. That's what it does. You're going to list three to five examples here. Another one is wind. It blows stuff away. It picks stuff up. It moves things from one place to another. It is the most active agent of erosion. You're going to list three to five examples here. Running water. This is a major cause of erosion. You know this because when flooding happens and when the rivers go up, we get all kinds of gullies and rills and all kinds of things here in Michigan. So three to five examples of running water erosion. River might be one of them. <laughs> Glaciers, huge snow packs, large masses of moving snow. And I want you to put three to five examples of how glaciers erode materials. The last one is waves. Waves are caused by wind and tides and earthquakes. And I want three to five examples of erosion by waves. Our last term today is on this page. Oh, sorry, there's more. There is. There is. Our last term today on page 79 is sediments. Say it with me. Sediments. Sediments are solid fragments of material that come from weathering rock and are carried by wind and water and ice. Kind of like, you know, you get a big rock and then a small rock and then a smaller rock. Well, how'd the rock even get that size? Well, rocks actually get around. All right, the longer they're around, rocks get smaller, and they can get really, really, really small, like sand small. So our last learning target for today is I can explain how wind can form a sand dune. So our first term on page 80 is sand dune. Say it with me, sand dune. It's a mound of sand deposited by wind. And we're in Michigan, we have sand dunes. They're awesome. Deserts have sand dunes. You go to the ocean, usually there's a sand dune. It's pretty awesome. The next term is deflation. Say it with me, deflation. So deflation is not inflation. It's kind of the opposite. If you inflate a balloon, it gets bigger. If you deflate a balloon, it gets smaller, right? So deflation is when wind removes loose materials such as clay, silt, dust, and sand from the land and it kind of will wear it down. It'll pull that away. Next term is mass wasting. Say it with me, mass wasting. It's the downhill movement of sediments caused by gravity such as landslide, mudslide, and slump. Slump, not slump, but slump, you know, slump. I don't know, it's not like you think leaning forward, it's just a really slow motion landslide pretty much that you can't actually see happening, but it's happening because it's going so slow. This last term is loess. Say it with me, loess. Doesn't that sound French? Try it again, loess. All right. It's fine particles of sand and silt. Very, 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 very small. You know when you think you've rubbed all that sand off your feet and you come in the house and there's still like sand between your toes, those little tiny pieces that you can't get off? Yep, that's the less. So down here, I would like you to explain how a sand dune is formed and draw a diagram that shows how wind moves sand to form a sand dune. So you're gonna make arrows to show the direction of the wind and you're gonna like basically draw a slope to indicate a sand dune. Okay. Also today, you have the coolest lab called What is so special about sand? You're going to look at three different samples of sand. Normally, we would look at these up really close with the microscopes and you would be totally amazed, but I've taken pictures of them and put them together for you in a really cool lab. You have to submit, you have to do the lab, do some thinking, got to submit the analysis questions and that's it for today. So you have two pages, notebook 79 notebook 80, and then you have to submit your lab analysis questions. Now you can't do the lab analysis questions and do well unless you actually do the lab and think about the questions. I think you'll find it's pretty awesome. All right, have, have some fun. Pretend you're maybe at the beach virtually looking at some sand and tour around the world looking at where erosion takes place on the surface of the earth.